Hi there, my name is KJ Ajayi. Today on Equipping, we want to talk about faith. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, the Bible says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained good testimony. And by faith the walls that were framed, by faith we understand that the walls that were, were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen are made not of the things which are visible. Now the Bible tells us here, what the definition of faith is, but this definition is inconclusive without considering Romans chapter 10, verse 17. In Romans chapter 10, verse 17, the Bible says that faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. Now, let me pitch these two verses together to give a definition that is accurate. Hebrews 11 says, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. The word substance there is not just substance as in water or clothing. The word substance there is the Greek word foundation the substructure of your hope. So faith is the substructure of hope. It is the proof that that which is not visible is at hand. Okay? So we go back to the book of um, Romans chapter 10 verse 17. So the Bible says faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. So we'll find out there that the definition of faith is not made clear to us in Hebrews chapter 11. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Substance of things hoped for. If it, is, if it is something you are hoping for, that means it's not at hand. It is a substance. If it is the evidence of things not seen, evidence is visible. But this evidence is the evidence of things unseen. Okay? So how do you explain the evidence of things unseen? So let's get it. The substance of hope, the evidence of the invisible is faith. So what do you say faith is? Romans 10, 17 again says that, Faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. So, the difference between presumption and faith, therefore, is a man has had the word of God, not listened to the word of God, he has had the word of God. To hear the word of God includes that your heart is able to capture that which has come forth to you and take a peep or a look into that which you have heard so that the Jews and the life in that which has come to you has been released into your spirit. The release of that life within your spirit that has come from the word of God now is the basis for the hope that you have. It is the proof of that which is invisible that is coming to you. Very, very essential. So you don't say you have faith if the boldness that you have is basically upon that, okay, I just read the word of God. This is just what the word of God said. But you have not meditated upon that word to release the life within that word into your spirit and to anchor your belief and your hope upon that which the life that you have captured. This is very essential. The difference between faith and presumption is that presumption assumes that what assumes what is not true, but faith takes from the word of God or takes from God the raw materials of, for which the confidence is predicated upon. If you have not had the word of God and you go out and run, what you are running with is assumption or presumption. So you remember, the devil said to Jesus, he said, if you are the son of God, jump. He has given his angels charge over you. Notice, the devil sought to um, get Jesus into trouble using the scriptures. So it is not enough to carry the graphy of God's word. Graphy there is the letters, which makes that the scripture can be like a science book to you. So you have the graphy of God's word, the logos of God's word, the Daba word of God, which is one and same as the Rema. The Rema is the spoken word. The word is spoken, illumination is created, and there is an instant connection. The logos of the word of God, however, is the word that describes Jesus as the word of God. Jesus is the word of God, is the logos. Logos also means a meditation in the word of God causing the breakout of light into the spirit of man. That is also the same word for logos. Okay? So there has to be not just the graphe of God's word, which is the letters, but the logos of the word of God, the Daba word of God, must break forth in your life, in your heart. It is upon that that you can build your hope and that you can now build anything you want to do. God bless you.